I'm Ava Carrier, on location for a Musy video. Tonight I have with me two members of the Stranglers. Jean-Jacques Brunel. Barbara. And Hugh Cornwell. Now, um, the Stranglers have been vastly underrated these past few years with no airplay at all. To what do you attribute your success? Bad taste. Bad taste? Yeah. How about On you, Hugh? On our part, we're bad taste. And that makes you popular without airplay? Yeah. Very good. Now, your latest album, Men in Black, has been out about four months, and it's selling very well. I'm Is sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'd like to apologise. We'll have to try harder next. We'd we'll like to apologise for the decent sales now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, how about explaining your concept on Men in Black? I'm glad you asked that question. You? Hmm? The I'm concept glad you of uh, as well. Men in Black. Who are the Men in Black? Men in Black uh, visit people who see flying saucers and take pictures of them and collect artifacts and, and demand their return. And if they don't uh, get them back, then they um, people disappear, get cancer, you know, meningitis, kids disappear, have a lot of bad luck, things like this. Yeah. Very strange people, the men in black. They um. Do they wear sunglasses? Yeah, they do. They, they, all, wear, they, they all wear wrap-around shades. Mirror frames. The few times, the few times that they have been that contactees claim that they have seen their eyes, their eyes have been kind of um, uh, infrared. And some of the contactees don't even remember having talked to these guys as much as being um, uh, talked at through um, psychically, communicated to. Psychically. Very interesting. Yeah, so that is your concept on the Men in Black album. Well, it's not a concept, it's just... The uh, truth, the bare facts. That's one of the... It's the first idea that brought us to thinking about all these intangibles. It's the first thing, because we were shown an article about these guys, and we thought, well, that's interesting, that'll make a good song. And we started reading all about the other connections, you know, UFOs, flying saucers, and then you start thinking about religion. And uh, superstition, you know. Yeah. And the whole thing kind of ties up a lot of loose ends. Mm -hmm. And um, there are two kind of uh, UFO um, major sort of uh, ideas in recent years. There's the one about extraterrestrials, which is, seems to be the most popular one. You know, it's very easy to think that uh, these cats come from other planets which are obviously much more technologically superior to us, and that's a very easy kind of attitude. And they're eventually going to take the world over. Yeah, all that. But there's also um, the, the new uh, scientific realization that our vision as human beings is so limited that there are so many things which uh, vibrate at different frequencies that we cannot see which have molecular structures which vibrate at different frequencies. So uh, that is in introduces the concept of extra-dimensional rather than ultra-terrestrial. Very interesting. So these things could be right here, you know, all the time, and, and we just can't see them. Well, the human eye uh, can only see so much. Exactly, yeah, the visible also, spectrum. Also, we can hear, we can, we've got very limited hearing, and uh, since uh, uh, sound and vision are, are the same thing when it comes Basically. to... Um, well, yeah, they're the same thing when it comes to... We're only human. Yeah. Well, speak for yourself. Okay. So, tell me about your tour that you're currently on. No. Men in Black tour. No? Okay, how about plans for your next album? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're recording um, in England uh, in, in about a month's time. Yes, and do you have any uh, theme for your next album? Um... Yes and no. And I'd like to thank Jean-Jacques Brunel and Hugh Cornwell Barbara. for joining me today. And now we're going to watch a video of The Stranglers. Merci, bonsoir. Bonsoir. Monsieur Dunn. Français, Française.